Welcome back family and friends. Today we're going to be doing poor boys smoke burnt ends. Typically we'd be using the point of a brisket, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to use a chuck roast. Okay, we've got about a two and a half to three pound chuck roast. We're going to cut these up to cubes. We're going to get it seasoned up and get it on the smoker. We want to talk about some yum yum. Stick around. This, this meat cut up. We're going to cut this into one by one inch cubes. Uh, we're going to get it seasoned up and get it ready for the grill. Let's watch this process. This meat's got a lot of marbling in it, which is okay because we're going to be cooking this for over two hours on the grill and a lot of that fat's going to render down. So let's just get some of this cut to some nice cubes. These are about the pieces that you're going to want right here. Now some of this, it's got this really excessive fat. I am going to trim that off. But we'll get it sitting over there. Okay, you're not going to be able to get all the fat off on this chuck roast. But you can see the gist of it right here. This is what we're looking for. These are going to come out so nice and so moist. And it's going to have a nice sweet flavor to them. And they're going to have char, which is going to be really super good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these up to the cubes. And uh, when we get back, we'll show the seasoning part. And I'm going to get them on a rack, and we're going to explain that for a minute. Be right back. I went ahead. I got all these cut up. You can see how these are all cubed. we got little one-inch by one-inch pieces. Uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to talk about our ingredients real quick. And on the, on the deck today, we're going to be using a rub. This is called rib rub. It's a western style rub. We're going to be using on these some coarse black pepper. One stick of butter. Brown sugar. We're going to be using some honey today. Because this is going to be a very, very sweet cook. Sweet baby rays on deck. Okay, here we go. We're going to get these all seasoned up and we're going to get them on this rack. Okay, it's like a cooling rack. The reason why I have it on a rack and why we're going to put that on the trigger is because I want that smoke and that heat to get all the way around the meat, top bottom. Okay, same thing with our seasoning. We're going to get all size seasoned, everything. Okay, this is about what we're going to do here. Get that on there, pat that in a little bit. Now you notice I didn't use a binder. That's okay. We don't need to. Not on this meat. And then I'm going to top it off with some horse black pepper. And this is going to give it some, some more of a bark, something to really bite into on top of this meat. Okay, I want to go ahead and get these all flipped around, get the other side seasoned up, and we'll be back here in a couple minutes. Okay guys, I finished getting these all seasoned up and put on the rack. And this is, I wanted to show you what, the, what this looks like. Okay, they're just one inch cubes. I'm going to get these into the Traeger. If you guys have never had burn ends before, I highly recommend you try. Okay, I will be doing burn ends also again from the point of a brisket, which is coming up here in about a week or so. But I wanted to try this chuck roast and see how these come out. So I'll meet you down at the smoke shack and we'll get these put on and get this cooker going. All right, we're out here at the smoke shack. We're going to cook these on the Traeger at 350 degrees. And we're going to smoke these on a applewood smoke, okay? 
these burnt ends are going to have the nice sweet flavor to them. So we're going to have all the honey, the butter, uh, the apple, um, smoke wood. It's going to give it a really nice flavor. Okay. So Traeger, 350 degrees, minimum of two hours. I'm not going to open this back up for two hours. Uh, come on over here. I'll show you where we're at. It's already preset. Again, we've got these on our cooking tray so that the smoke and everything can get up around everything, get it on the top, sides, everywhere. We're going to close this down, come out here in a couple hours, and see where we're at, and uh, well, we're going to have some nice dinner tonight. We'll see you back here in a few. Alright guys, we've been about an hour and a half. Let's check on these real quick. These are looking pretty close to being done. Alright, I think we're going to be done with this step here. We're going to go ahead and pull these. I'm going to get them in a house. And we're going to move on to our next step, which is adding all the other ingredients and getting them back in here and getting them really tenderized. I'll see you in the house. Right, guys, we're going to get started here on our second step. Now, I pulled these off because I'm looking at a couple of these pieces that are in here. And you can see some of the liquid that's starting to come out of the tops of these. Okay, we don't want to pull all the moisture out of this meat. Okay, we want to keep as much in there as possible. At the same time, getting that nice bark on the top. So now the second part of this is, is we're going to put in our beef broth, our honey, barbecue sauce, and butter. We're going to mix all this together in our brown sugar, and then we're going to put it back on the grill and let that meat really soak up all them juices and moistness. When we pull these back off, they're going to be so nice. I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. First thing I want to do is get a little bit of grease broth. I'm not going to soak it down too much, just a little bit. Okay, a little bit of that down on the bottom. And then I'm going to take some barbecue sauce. And we're just going to cover up this meat. going to be like meat candy when we get done. It's going to literally melt in your mouth. Let's put this one up here ready. In time we need some more of this. Okay. All right. Honey. We're going to get some of this honey on here now. This is going to put a nice glaze on things. It's going to make everything kind of sticky on this meat. And boy, let me tell you, it's going to be good. Okay. A little bit of honey. Brown sugar. Help to caramelize all these ingredients. Make everything nice and stick together on this meat. Just get enough on there to, just to cover the top, okay? And then we're going to take our butter. That butter is going to help to keep things moist. Just kind of use a whole stick in here. Just kind of plop it here and there, in the corners, in the middle. Let's see how this is going on here. I know it looks like a whole lot at once, okay? This is what it's going to look like when you get done. Okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with tin foil nice and tight. We're going to put it back out on the Traeger. Temperature's still set at 350. I'm going to let this go on for about another hour, an hour, hour and a half, excuse me, between an hour and hour and a half. Let everything caramelize, soak up into that meat, get it nice and tenderized. 
We'll see how this looks. I'll see you back here in about an hour and a half. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and a half. Went ahead and pulled these off. Got a few of these plated up already. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. They certainly look like burn ends. Wow, that cut nice and even in there. Mm. All kinds of flavors. We got that applewood, the barbecue, we got the honey, a tinge of uh, brown sugar, and you can really taste that applewood smoke. Thanks for uh, joining me again, uh, family and friends. We'll see you next time here on Wally's Smoke Shack.